Now let's take a look at the emotional and physical responses to secondary colours. A mix of red and yellow, orange is similar to red in that it affects the respiratory system and heart rate. It's also known to stimulate the appetite. The colour of a warm flame, orange is cheerful, bright, stimulating and communicative. It's optimistic and uplifting, rejuvenating our spirit. With its stimulating and communicative effect, along with its link to spices, fruits and vegetables, orange is a great colour to include in kitchens, dining rooms and restaurant design. Interestingly, there was no word before the fruit lent its name during the 10th and 11th centuries. Hence why we call people with orange hair redheads and orange fish goldfish. In an interior situation, orange is used more as an accent, especially in its brighter version. It can feel quite warm and inviting if its application has brown undertones. It can have a cheery and informal feel. As mentioned, it's a social colour with energy and it's stimulating, so it's a good choice for dining rooms and kitchens. Purple is the only colour that sits between warm and cool on the colour wheel, making it quite unique. It's a colour that you really either like or dislike. Not many of us sit on the fence. Purple is a colour for individuality and it can indicate flamboyancy, passion and sensuality. Pale versions can feel wistful, soft and calming, whilst deeper shades feel rich, mysterious and even magical. Purple can translate beautifully into interiors. Shades of lilac and plum with undertones of grey are very livable, managed in the right proportions. But having said that, purple is definitely not for everybody. From a physical point of view, green can help reduce muscular tension and increase concentration. Soft, lush greens can promote healing and act as a sedative. Depending on the shade of green, it can represent either freshness or decay. Green is quiet, peaceful, soothing, sympathetic, gentle and nurturing. Probably because green is one of the major colours within nature, it is extremely versatile and works with most other colours in a scheme. Green in interiors is a very versatile colour and one that most people feel comfortable around. Pale eucalypt is very popular at the moment, teamed with wood and terracotta tones. Also this lovely rich, deep forest green that creates a more dramatic feel. Understanding the physical and psychological associations with colour is really important as part of the colour selection process. Just remember though that whilst there are common associations, colour can be a really personal thing depending on our culture and life experiences. 